I'm Dan Lee, Year One teacher, Year Group coordinator at Geary's Infant School. I'm an AST for Redbridge in the themed areas of creativity. I'm also an AST for um, role play. In a typical day, we use ICT really to, to help the children explore um, their learning. ICT has been used in the classroom to enhance children's learning opportunities. Dan creatively looks at how can we use this to meet a different child's needs. I was very new to technology really, being honest. I've always been more building and making and arts based. Um, but slowly technology sort of got hold of me. Today you're going to be film stars. You are also going to be recording musical artists. He uses new technology to get the best out of children. It's used very selectively to enhance children's learning experiences. Uh, he's so much fun uh, that uh, how can you not like this? Do you know what the best part was though? What? The fun of making it was so much fun, even more fun than actually playing on it afterwards. And I think these three want to share with you the kind of learning that they've been on. ICT's helped them find their voice for me uh, and recorded their voice. Um, the, the blog projects that we've developed, the, the posterous projects that we're developing. You can put a picture into the background. Ah, now I see what you're saying now. Some of the children in this class can be quite quiet. And I think the technology, whether it's one-to-one -one on the PC or a shared, I'm going to build a robot and share it with, with her and get it to bash my friend's robot together. It, it, it offers that kind of diverse learning context. I think it's helping them at a very young age see themselves as a learner. During a kind of a, a typical day, an average week, children's experiences of ICT would involve going online, updating their home pages, contributing to blogs that we have up and running. They would also be involved in filming, recording of sound. They'd have a skill session as well, looking at saving, opening files, transferring files. Well, I am a keen advocate for technology and I do sort of pioneer and triumph the course because I've seen how it's, how it's changed my practice and how it's impacted on the children's attainment. Because of his creativity, he takes me into unknown places and uh, therefore it makes me really think about my area as well. So it develops me as a teacher to keep up with technology, to see how we can apply those ideas and to get the best out of them for the children. Working alongside colleagues, I get a lot from it because it gives me that sense to, you know, to take a risk and you know you're supported in taking that risk and people are going to be there to support you and offer their advice. He is most important to us as a, as a stimulator, somebody who excites other people's interest in things and shows you what's possible. It's the, uh, the, the creation of the can-do attitude of, I didn't know you could do that, well, what would happen if you did? They know that I'm prepared to take that risk and then share that afterwards. Nothing I do stays within my class. There's no sense of that. That's a project that just relates to our children. I think the thing that works most for Dan is that he he's infectious. His sense of joy, fun and purpose. Every day you get it from everything that he says. He's so passionate about what he does. Technology helps me as a teacher in two kind of main ways. One, a kind of admin way. So in terms of my and planning, recording, attainment, assessment. I can use our managed learning environment to send out documents to parents. I think what technology does well, it allows me to access the kind of multimedia range of resources you can develop using ICT. So, so learning doesn't just become pencil and paper, it becomes video, it becomes sound, it becomes manipulable it, it very easily, very quickly. I would say to teachers, you should get experience from Mr Lee and no offence but try harder. I suppose the motivation really that you get from, from just introducing simple effective pieces of technology I think can't really be matched and, and so that's why it's become such a big part of, of what I do.